This is part two of this mold remediation project. I will link part one in the description and I will have it come out on a little card that comes out over here, I think. One of the big things from the first part was the bleach. Uh, apparently I read too many YouTube comments and, and just know what to say and what not to say on the internet. The chemists of the world say spraying bleach on mold is useless. It doesn't kill the spores. It makes it look like you killed the mold, but it doesn't kill the spores that live in, in the wood and things like that. If you spray it on like a solid surface, like a uh, countertop, it'll clean that off. But if it's the material that the mold is on is porous, bleach just doesn't do anything. And if you're caught doing it, the keyboard commandos, uh, they, they go absolutely crazy in the comments and say all sorts of nasty things about you. I will also put a link in the description of a biocide that is specifically designed to kill mold and kill mold spores. But like I said in the first video, getting rid of the, the mold, the, the material that the mold is on and stopping the water leak and not repairing it until the moisture content of everything has dried. And that's where this video starts, with the moisture content of the two by fours, the remaining two by fours. There were three that I just completely removed because they were just, they were just nasty. We are at the house and I wanted to get out my moisture meter and show you what brand new two by fours, what, what their moisture content is. So we are at 19%, 18.5%. 19% um, is a relative number. Uh, this thing here has couple different modes for different species of wood. What I am doing is using kiln dried wood as a benchmark. I'll take another reading down here. We're at 16, 15 and a half. Now we're gonna go inside the house. Take a look at that. I wonder who built that. Man, look at that craftsmanship. Wow, I've never seen anything like that before. How'd they do that? Okay, we are down here in the basement, right under the window, and I've got 14.5%. I'm gonna check over here. I'm guessing this one's gonna be much lower. I'm gonna really drive it in there. That one's 3.5% over here. 14, 13.5%. Now this one here is probably gonna be the wet, most wet at 14.5%. That's 155 Let's go down here. Now this is treated lumber, it's green. So the treated lumber is always gonna have a higher moisture content. There's 13 and a half. There's 18. There's 18, you can't see it's dark. So all this, all the moisture readings are in an acceptable range. It's ready to be put back together. So remember I told you how that uh, that wasn't glued up there. So what the guy did, the plumber, he cut this, pulled it down, put some glue in there, stuffed it up, and put this coupler back on here. Put in the comments, what do you think the plumber charged to glue that one joint? He did nothing else. He was here for 25 minutes. The, the homeowner just asked me if he got ripped off. He, he had to do, undo this strap here and redo the strap. So we've got one coupler, and a couple swabs of glue and maybe a nail. That's it for materials. Put in the comments, how much did the plumber charge? do to keep my efficiency is I've got another stop to go to I got I want to get this thing mudded two coats today and it goes fast as I can I never have empty hands going out to the truck or out to the trailer to get the sheet of drywall hands have to be full I'm no longer going to be doing any framing so everything's got to go see this little bit of damage here 
I got 40% off this sheet of dry wood just by asking. It took me three seconds to make five bucks. Don't even, not even gonna use that. straightest line but oh, 12 by 13 maybe 12 by 13 What I'm doing is I'm trying to remove some of the mud on this old joint so that when I tape it there is a place to to put the new mud in the tape so if there's not a hump and I don't have to feather it way out. Uh, I've got this side stripped. I'm just creating a little swath on the right side. And then we will mix up some mud and put the tape on there and then we got to go to another job. So I just sanded after the first coat and needs another coat. I'm guessing this is pretty backlit. I'm not sure if I'll be able to use it or not. Uh, the footage. This is a topping compound from Lowe's. You put some scoops in the pan here. Just mix it up so that it has a consistent thickness.
You can be tempted to keep messing with it, trying to f just fine tune it more and more. And then you realize you messed it up and have to scrape a whole bunch off. So right now I'm at a stopping point. There's just a few little bobbles that'll get easily sanded out when I come back. I think I'll try to come back this evening and get this sanded and textured. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. Probably start off with primer and then move to the gray paint, then put the windowsill thing on, and then the baseboard. And then caulk it in. Yeah, it's a quite a bit of work just to patch a small section of a wall. All right, most of the texture looks perfect except for right here. Something touched the wet texture. I don't know if that was me or a little kid. But I'll have to address this and touch that up. But uh, otherwise, that looks, it just looks like a dang perfect match. It'll dry here in 20, 30 minutes. Came out pretty good. Oh. So what'd you think of the repair? Is it good? I think it's great. They loved it. Now, I still am working on the handyman business video for this, uh, which is the business, the money, the negotiations, the salesmanship, for this project but I just got called and I got to go all the way across town in rush hour traffic so I think I'm gonna have to work on that one late tonight and upload that one tomorrow Thursday 
Uh, but this one should go up soon. Should be up right now. Give that video a like and subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure the bell is clicked next to the little subscribe button down below. Always leave comments. Uh, if you are one of those chemists that knows all about killing mold, please put your reasoning for not using bleach so that other people can understand it. Uh, I'm not a chemist. I just know that when I spray bleach on mold, it disappears. Goodbye.